It's Parm King, and this is a Foundry and Dungeon Master tip to help introduce players to both Dungeons & Dragons and Foundry. Now, imagine, if you will, you're a Dungeon Master, perhaps experienced or just starting out, and you've installed Foundry, and you're really excited, and you're ready to launch into your epic one-year-long Curse of Strahd campaign. You get on the internet, and you start looking for players to join in this fun campaign and well you find that player that has never played Dungeons and Dragons before but no problem you want to bring them on board they seem like they're going to be a good fit and they're excited to play well except for the fact that the first level uh, venture in Curse of Strahd is known as Death House and it's infamously uh, a meat grinder I mean this thing kills more players than probably any first level adventure out there or perhaps you have an experienced player that they've never used Foundry before and they need to get comfortable with the mechanics, how to access their character sheets. Maybe you have some macro setup or rolling dice. Or most importantly, you want to know if that player is going to mesh with your type of game and fellow players. I mean, you don't want to start off and find out in session one after you've gotten everything together that you have one of those that guys, you know, that murder hobo or that player that just doesn't make it fun for everybody. So how do you deal with these three potential problems? Well, I have the answer right here. The other day I found this free one, I would call half session adventure called Basil and the Basilisk and the Stolen Heart. I jumped in and read through it. It's got just one C, some interesting characters, some journal notes, and everything you need to do from start to finish. It includes role-playing, combat encounters, and some fun loot. I thought to myself, wow, what a great adventure to A, introduce new players to Dungeons & Dragons, B, introduce experienced players to Foundry, and C, filter out potential problem players before you commit them to a one-year-long campaign. I also really like this adventure because it's PG-13, so if you have younger adults or kids that want to play it, there's nothing in here that's inappropriate. In fact, it's kind of cute and I actually think the story is actually quite fun. It also serves a fourth purpose. I know and I'm sure all of you have had that experience where real life just gets in the way and you're coming up to the evening of your session and you're not fully prepared. Well, this one adventure can just be installed and used as a side adventure. Maybe it's a little bit of comic relief or a little bit of light hundred fun in a rather dreary kind of curse and stride campaign. I mean, it kind of solves that problem as well. Now this adventure has this beautiful map, it's all walled, there's nice lighting in it. It comes with all the characters here, all their stat blocks, some nice icon images, as well as all the journal notes and entries, as well as roll tables and, uh, and uh, roll buttons so it's all easy to do, information to share with your players, DM notes, and information on each of the locations. It's provided by Dragon Horns Tales. They have a great Patreon page with some other adventures on there. This one is absolutely free and I highly recommend it. Go in there, go over to his Patreon page and check out the other ones. Now, if you're using Forge like I am, this is in the bazaar. That's where I found it and installed it. It was free, just got it up and running and been having a really good time with it. And I think even if you wanted to run one of those like Friday night beer and pretzels with your buddies on Foundry and just have a funny one shot little evening, well, this would be a perfect one to do that. It's got a little bit of cute comedy in there, which I think you'll appreciate as well. Go ahead, I'll put the link down below for this free adventure. There's also a link to his Patreon site, Dragon's Horn Tales Patreon site. Check it out. Check out this free adventure. I think this adventure will solve some of those problems. A good way to test it out out there before you commit any of those players to a year-long epic campaign. Well, this is Parm King with another tip. Until next time, may all your rolls be critical 20s.